everybody, Nirja here from the team at It's All About Women. And look, I got Max. This is Max. Maximilian, I should say. And Max and I were just talking about New Year's resolutions. And we said, hey, let's check in with everybody at It's All About Women to see how their resolutions are going. So that's what I'm doing. I'm checking in with you. It's almost February, if you can believe it. And if you're like me, your um, resolution about being more organized, less lazy, and staying away from pizza are not going so well. <laughs> but this year is a first for me because this is the first time my mother didn't prescribe me my resolutions. You see, my mother is a doctor, which is great. Not really. You know, that means when it was take your kid to work day, my mom used to uh, want me to come visit her when she had an autopsy. Yeah, that was not my idea of a fun Saturday morning. Ninja, guess what? This guy got hit by a train and his body is coming in a trash bag. You must come check this out. <laughs> Where I was like, no, I must not check that out, mom. <laughs> so every year she prescribes me my resolutions. So last year it was, hmm, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She wanted me to finally grow up. <laughs> so that didn't go too well. But in any case, remember that resolutions really are a great indicator to test yourself, to see how willing you are to change, right? So when I said I'm not gonna eat as much pizza, yeah, I know I didn't want to change. <laughs> but then so now I try to I try to have resolutions that are more in line with what I want for myself. So I know that uh, I have some fear. And I know I have some limiting beliefs. And I also know that overcoming them and moving past them is probably more important than losing the 15 pounds that I'd like to lose. <laughs> um, so what about you? I would love to hear in your comments below, what are the resolutions that are more impactful to you now? You know, instead of the standard, you know, losing weight, being more organized, getting rid of some favorite food that you know is gonna make you sad to give up. I'm never gonna give up pizza. <laughs> um, but what are they? What are the resolutions that you've come to know are are way more meaningful than, um, you know, that's the ones we always hear about. And until then, um, you know, somebody said to me, how do, you, how do you stick with these resolutions then if it's like, you know, so important to stick with? Um, it really, again, is about your willingness to change. Do you want to change? Do you want what you want so badly that you know change is needed? And are you willing to make that change? So those are the questions that I would ask myself. And get rid of those resolutions that don't mean anything to you. Get rid of those resolutions that have nothing to do with your personal or spiritual growth. You know, make those resolutions something that if you resolve to do them or achieve them, um, there's more love and peace in your life. That's what I want you to ask yourself. What can I do? What can I resolve to do different? that will result in more love and peace. For me, it's playing with this guy. Check this out, look at that face. Have you ever, have you ever, look at that. That's Max. My resolution is about giving more love to this dog because in the end of the day, that's what's important. So take care everybody, peace and love to you and uh, go have some pizza. <laughs>